To open a file with nano, you simply type in nano and then the name of your file. Pressing enter will bring you to the text editor of nano. Here you can move with the arrow keys up, down, left, right. If you want to move a single character, you press Ctrl plus F and it will move forward a single character. F stands for forward. If you want to move backward a single character, you press Ctrl plus B and it will move back one character. To jump to the previous line, you press Ctrl plus P and it will jump to the previous line. To move to the next line, you press Ctrl plus N and you'll jump to the next line. To move to the beginning of the line, you press Ctrl plus A and it will take you to the beginning of the line. If you want to jump to the end of the line, E stands for N, you press Ctrl plus E and you will jump to the end of the line. Suppose if I want to edit or insert any character into my file, I will simply navigate my cursor to the place that I want to edit. Here I'm typing this is a new line. To delete only one character, just press the backspace key. To undo any changes, press Alt plus the U key. To delete a whole entire line, press Ctrl plus K. K stands for cut. To paste that line back again, press Ctrl plus U. To copy a line or a word, first select with Ctrl 6 and set the mark. Navigate with your direction keys, your arrow keys and select until the place you want to copy. Press Alter and the caret symbol which is 6 in my keyboard to copy. Press Ctrl and U to paste. Please do remember Ctrl and K is for cutting or deleting, Alter and 6 is for copying. Ctrl and U is for pasting. You can also search for a particular keyword which will be matching your string with the Ctrl and W command. W stands for where is, you can see here. And in the search bar, type in the keyword that you're looking for. Suppose in my case, I'm looking for the word burdens. So I will type in B-U-R-D-E-N-S and press enter. It will take me to the keyword Finally, if you want to make changes to the file and save it, you press Ctrl and O. Then you'll be asked that whether you want to change the name of the file or not. I do not want to change the name of my file, so that's why I'll simply press Enter and it got saved. Then I will press Ctrl and X to quit the program. Again, for example, if I do not want to save the changes of my file, so if I make a mistake and I want to quit out of the text editor, what I will do is press Ctrl and X and it will ask me, do you want to save? I will press Shift and N, which is no. Then my file has not been saved. Lastly, other than these commands, if you want to use any other command, you simply press Ctrl and G. It will bring you to the help page. Here you can use other commands, more advanced commands.